So you got an Insta360 X3 and you want to record virtual 3D tours using Matterport. First, you want to go to your app store and download the Matterport app. Open that up, create or sign into an account. You'll start off with the free version, but they do offer different pricing from free to enterprise. And they all give you differing things like how many active spaces and how many users can use the account. So either the app will jump you right into starting your scan or you just got to go to this page and click new job. Turn on your Insta360. Doesn't matter which camera mode you're in, just swipe down and go to settings and Wi-Fi settings. Just leave it on auto. And with that checked, you want to go to your settings in your phone, go to Wi-Fi settings and just, I guess, hold it near each other. Under my networks, it pops up saying X3, which is the Insta X3. You just want to connect to it. Once you're connected, you can back out of the settings on your Insta360 and go back to the Matterport app. This will now give you the option to connect to your Insta360. And now you just want to put this thing on a tripod and start scanning. I'd recommend starting your first scan at the front door and then you just kind of keep moving it where it makes sense really you don't want to move it too far from the last position because then it'll have trouble aligning you want to be careful of mirrors but from where it's sitting, I can't see it. Just wanna be mindful of that. Same with reflections and stuff like that. Then when you're going up or down stairs, you wanna take them in between. Maybe every four stairs, take a new scan. Then when you move upstairs, you wanna make sure you select a new floor. Kind of this layer option, add a new floor. And then if you're in the upstairs, type in upstairs. And then you can start scanning this whole new space. You also wanna make sure you're marking any features like windows and mirrors. You can do that by hitting this button and then going to either windows or mirrors and adding them and then just dragging this little thing to where the mirrors are and windows are pretty straightforward if you have any questions let me know in the comments